So today we're speedrunning through Crossy Road and it is just as simple as you think it is. We're going to be speedrunning getting 100 hops with this little chicken, so let's get started. Now we can start the speedrun as soon as we do our first hop and then right away what we're going to be looking for is as little of those rivers as possible. That's just because when you have to go across the rivers, it's usually going to take a lot more time than just going through this traffic because usually you can dodge cars pretty easily, but the rivers can be pretty hard. And you saw right there, I just did kind of the most amazing move of my life. I don't know how I was able to make it through those two cars, but we have a pretty good run right now all we have to do is make it a tiny bit farther and this is where i get extremely lucky and just able to make it completely past there and there we go we make it to 100 29 seconds not too bad but doing only one crossy road speed run just wouldn't be enough so we're going to do a couple more now our next speed run is going to be on the pac-man version where instead of just trying to get hops you're trying to get as many of the pellets as possible now the general strategy we need to do here is get that mega pellet and then just go forward and backward in between ghosts because you can see for some reason the game just keeps giving us five pellets every single time and I have no idea why but I mean it works out for me I'm just trying to speed run then I get one more of those and I can finish it off right there that's 121 seconds our next speed run is going to be using the bashy beaver and this one is actually a lot different because instead of having it every time you tap you move you use these fish to go faster so the more fish we eat the faster the beaver is able to go it kind of gives them like stamina or something like that so like right there I got three fish in one really smooth succession so that's really gonna make me go fast and you'll also notice that I can actually eat through all of these trees, but you can't eat through the rocks. So you want to kind of find the best path to make you go the fastest. Like you don't want to hit too many trees because you do have to eat through them, but also sometimes it might be easier to eat through the trees and might be able to make you go just a bit faster. So you kind of have to balance between those two, figure out which one is the best. But anyway, whatever, 34 seconds. And our final speed run is going to be using the slippy penguin. This one's a lot different than the other ones because you can't go faster at all. You're kind of just at a set speed. So I'm not exactly sure why this is a speed run but I mean it works the more ice blocks you make it through the higher your score is going to get and as you get farther and farther you're going to go faster so right now we're actually going pretty fast we're already at 70 we just have to make it a tiny bit more so we can make it to 100 and right about here is where we can end off time 23 seconds these runs were way more stressful than they should have been